Ipagawas sa Commission on Elections karong umaabot Oktubre 18 ang listahan sa mga certified candidates nga magpapili sa umaabot nga 2025 midterm elections. Kinihuman sa final screening na pagabuhaton sa Comelec Central Office. Giabisuhan ang mga buot magpapili na sunod sa 30 kaadlaw gikan sa ilang pag-file o Certificate of Candidacies kung COC, kinahanglan nilang iparehistro ang mga Facebook pages o website na ilang gamiton sa pagpangampanya online. Posibleng mag-atubang silot ang masakpan nga wala mituman sa maong balaod. Kung wala nila gi-rehistro, niya doon na sila mga pages. So meaning, ilang gi-avoid gi sila nga ma-monitor ilang expenses para ana. So if makita na sa COMELEC, that might amount to election offense. Pag electoral aspect, meaning administratively you can be disqualified. And criminal aspect, you can be prosecuted for election offense. So duha ang iyang mapadulngan. May tambag sab si Atty. Guhilde sa mga incumbent ng mga opisyal sa gobyerno na dili gamiton ang mga programa sa kagamhanan alang sa ilang personal nga pagpangampanya. I can always say, uh, well, incumbent man ko, I have to do this. So, yeah, whatever publicity there is, is incidental. Diba? Murag dili ni mo malikayan. Maug yun na ang incumbent. So, ikaw yun ang, ma, ikaw yun ang mahatagan ng credit, Ana. I think the problem there is, if there is what I call inequity of the incumbent. It's when you take advantage of government resources to promote your candidacy. Subay sa pag-edukar sa katawhan sa pagpili sa takos ng mga leader sa nasud, karong adlaw sa ila ang mga mananaog sa gipahigayong Voters Education Real Challenge sa MyTV Cebu. Kini usa ka pamaagi sa pag-aghat sa publiko, ilabi na sa mga kabatan-unan sa sakto o responsableng pagbutar sa umaabot ng piniliay. Second placer sa maong kompetisyon ang mga tinunan gikan sa University of the Philippines Cebu nga sila Nini Labrador, Mark Aaron Colliera, Mary Geraldine Valya Gomesa o Franja Pauline Hapitana. It just shows how social media can really help the people to really know what are the proper things that should we know in terms of the elections and how should we use our democratic tool which is to elect someone in a very meaningful way of changing the community and the society. We'd also like to can I thank my TV side for uh, this this opportunity. I think it's a really good way of kind of not only engaging with like kind of with us like the, the youth but also to it's a great avenue for letting us speak up. First placer ang mga marketing communication students gikan sa University of San Jose Recoletos nga sila Jamie Francine Bockwell, Nicole Manuel, Fretzi Castro, Janine Ramas o Brian Lagahit. For all of us to be united as one, we must pick certain individuals who are credible to run for position because this is for our country, this is for the Philippines, and this is for all of us. We feel so grateful and thankful to our university at the same time, my TV Cebu for allowing us to participate in this and competition. Julie. And to Ms. Julie also, <laughs> have you guys? This is all for you and of course to our Marco, our Ate Sincuna seniors, and to our blockmates. Hi guys, thank you so much for the support and all. 10,000 pesos cash ang nadawat nga premyo sa kampiyon gikan sa UP Cebu nga sila Charles Javier Retanal o John Michael Armesin. Ang ilang entry may sentro sa pagtulid sa mga sayup nga impormasyon o tuot-tuo sa mga Pilipino mahitungot sa eleksyon. So we're very happy because aside from the fact that we won the grand prize winner, we also One, in a way that we were able to um, educate voters around or all around Cebu. And aside from the happiness, okay, we won the, the cash prize. Right? We feel honored but to be given the chance to um, spread education and awareness, especially when it comes to voting wisely and intelligently uh, in, the, in, in the coming midterm election. So I hope that everyone okay, can learn sila sa among video and mas vote sila wisely in the future. Okay. Kini si Queenie Holigon, alang sa MyTV, Cebu.